Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and just all of your support. Thank you to everybody that has donated and thank you to all of the clients that have purchased a private reading from me. Uh, I want to wish you all a happy 2017. Uh, I, I want to thank you also for bearing with me while I've been trying to get the January monthlies out and also the 2017 yearly tarot forecast. Unfortunately, I had to miss a couple of the weekly forecast uh, in order to get those readings out. Um, I just want to wish you all uh, a happy 2017. And again, thank you for your support. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for your patience. And um, if you are looking for additional guidance aside from the weekly and monthly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, I do draw and upload a daily Oracle guidance card every single day to Facebook and also Instagram. So if you're looking for extra guidance, please head over to Facebook or Instagram and follow me there. And of course, if you are interested in a private reading, please head over to northeasttarot.com and read about how I offer my private readings. So I wish you all a wonderful week. Stay tuned for the reading. Hi Leo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of January 9th through the 15th. This is for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising Signs. All right, Leo, so at the bottom of the deck, okay, we do, we do have the Empress, very nice. So if you're a Leo female, um, this is that very fertile energy. So if you're a Leo female who wants to conceive, definitely give it a go this week. Uh, also though, no matter if you're male or female, this is that very creative energy. So you could be a Leo that maybe um, you're incredibly creative this week. You could actually be giving birth to something new. You could be starting something new. Uh, maybe it's a new hobby or a new project. Uh, for some of you, maybe it's a new job, but whatever this is, it's something that you're going to find incredibly rewarding. Uh, for those Leo females, uh, this is, you know, maybe a lot of people around you finding you incredibly attractive this week. Uh, the Empress does also represent abundance. So uh, just looking at the other cards here, I think that financially it's going to be a great week for you. Now, the overall energy for the week, Leo, is actually the Ace of Wands. So again, if you're, if you're a Leo woman who wants to conceive, this definitely could be the week that it's happening with the Ace of Wands here. Uh, this is a very passionate energy, so for many of you, it's going to be a very passionate week. You might find yourself incredibly passionate, but also very creative. Now, the Ace of Wands, um, this can be a new relationship. This is some sort of new beginning that for many of you, this is maybe what you're trying to give birth to. Uh, this could be the very... Uh, early stages of that. So this could be a new business that you're starting with the Empress. This can be a new job. Maybe this is a new home or a new relationship. But we have this amazing new beginning that's starting for you, Leo. Now what's interesting is we have the Empress here at the bottom of the deck, but then I also have the Emperor here in the spread. So for some of you, I'm not sure if maybe you've been experiencing some, some challenges or some difficulties within a relationship because I have the Emperor sitting next to the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups can be a doubtful sort of energy. It's, it's a person who feels challenged in some way. It can also be a very pessimistic sort of energy, looking at the glasses as, as though it's half empty instead of half full. Um, also fearing the worst, having a lot of doubts. So for some of you, you're dealing with this sort of challenging energy around maybe this emperor, this emperor man, which can be an Aries, can be a Taurus, but not necessarily. This can just be an older gentleman, someone who's established, someone who's very stable. Uh, most likely he's a, biz a business owner, uh, but there could be this older gentleman that maybe for some Leos, you're in a relationship with him and maybe it's been having some challenges. Um... There could be a very small number of Leos that maybe you just broke up with this person um, or maybe you're contemplating that. And I say that because under the Five of Cups and also the Emperor here, we do have the Nine of Swords, but then we also have the Two of Swords. 
So with the Two of Swords, for many of you, this is you needing to make a decision. But with the Nine of Swords, I feel like for some of you, you're not making a decision. Uh, there's a lot of doubts. There's a lot of worry with the Nine of Swords. For some of you, you know, you're very much in the mind. You're maybe a little emotional, but also you could be dealing with some anxiety. You could be staying up at night really fearing the worst. So for some of you, you need to make a decision with the Two of Swords. You need to listen to your intuition, but maybe for a very select number of Leos, fear is preventing you from doing that. Now, for other Leos, you could have received a decision or you could be waiting on a decision from this man. Now, this emperor, if this isn't romantic, if this isn't your spouse, this emperor could be your boss. This could also be a father. Uh, so maybe you're waiting on a decision in, from this, this emperor character or from a particular person in your life. Uh, now, if you're a Leo man, you could be waiting on a decision uh, from your boss as well or even from maybe a woman here in your life. Now, with the empress, this could be your wife, but also this could be your mother. Uh, so there could be some Leo men that are waiting on a decision maybe from a woman. Um, but just try to stay out of your mind with the five of cups and the nine of swords here I feel like there are some Leos that are very much in the mind and you could be worrying a little bit too much at this time uh, And this is an energy that you can you can prevent you can you can eliminate a lot of the, this energy here By just directing your focus elsewhere by taking care of yourself and make sure you know making sure that you're getting enough rest with the Seven of Wands here, there could be some defensive Leos with the Seven of Wands, um, but also, you know, it takes a lot of courage, uh, the Seven of Wands here. This is what I call that warrior spirit. So this is a person who's not going to settle. They're not going to compromise. They want something in particular. They know what it is, and they're not going to... They're not going to settle. They're not going to change their mind. So this is a person that is ready and willing to fight for what it is that they want. For some of you, it's this Ace of Wands, this maybe new job or this project that you're trying to get off the ground. For some of you, maybe it's you trying to move to a new home because we do have the tower here. So the tower is a neutral energy. It can go in either direction. And for some of you, I feel like this is a home. This is a building. I feel like there's Maybe you're a Leo that has been trying to move to a new home. Your mother or your father might have something to do with it. Um, or your spouse might have something to do with this. Um, maybe you're a Leo that is, is waiting on a, a divorce to be final. Uh, maybe there is some property at play here. Um, with the tower, for a very small number of you, there could be property that's significant here. And with the page of swords here, uh, and then we also have the two of pentacles, the two of swords, a decision. It seems like a decision is very, very significant for many of you. So maybe you're waiting on a decision in regards to a property. Again, this is, can be a legal matter. Or maybe you're a Leo that has been trying to sell your house. It could be something like that as well. Because I see you standing firm. For many of you, this is you standing firm when it comes to this matter. So you've maybe been waiting on this for quite some time, dealing with some delays. And that's why we have this more pessimistic energy um, for some of you. Now, the tower can also represent that great change, that big life change. For some of you, uh, there's something with the Empress and the Ace of, of Wands here. There's some sort of new project or some sort of new beginning that you've been trying to manifest within your life and you might have been dealing with some delays. I'm just seeing what I'm getting here. Yeah, you might have been dealing with some delays. For some of you, maybe you're working with like a business partner. You could be waiting on your partner for, for whatever reasons. But I do see many of you very focused on the future. I think that, you know, even though maybe some of you, you have your doubts or you're dealing with some worry, you're still hanging in there with this energy here. And I still see many of you very focused on the future. And it is a great time to uh, use this this very creative energy here um, and plan out the details or come up with lots of little you know plans or ideas for yourself for the future because again this this energy here is supporting that so whatever it is that you want um, you know you can start it this week you can make those plans 
I'm just seeing if there's anything else I'm getting here. Yeah, I think that if you're a Leo who is waiting on a decision, uh, and this could be in relation to anything, maybe it is from your boss or maybe it is something legal, this decision, when it comes through, I feel like it's going to be a surprise. Uh, it's going to come through all of a sudden. So for some Leos, you could have been waiting on this for quite some time, and then all of a sudden, it comes in very suddenly. Um, now, for some of you, that could be this week, but for others, I'm not feeling that. So maybe it's going to be next week. Uh, you'll have to tune in to next week's reading for the following week. I always release these readings about a week, um, five to seven days uh, prior for the most part. It is the holiday season, or it was, so. All right, let's see what we have here. Uh, we have two cards that just flipped out. The first one is Layla. Spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. So what can help some Leos is getting outdoors. Getting outdoors, meditate if you can. Getting grounded is going to be very, very, very important for many of you. Now, if you're a Leo that can't relate to these energies, that's okay. Uh, the reading just might not be meant for you. Watch your sun, your moon, and your rising signs, okay? And, um, because this is a very specific reading uh, for certain Leos. But make sure that you, you get outdoors, get grounded, and remain positive. You need a more positive outlook, a more positive perspective. And then we also have Bethany. These two really go hand in hand together, so this is really nice. We have Bethany. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat to today, such as a massage, a sea salt bath, or pedicure. So this is all about you this week, Leo. Needing to get outdoors if you can, needing to get grounded, needing to have a positive perspective. For some of you, what's going to help you maybe deal with some of these energies is pampering yourself. This is this is all about, you know, doing things that make you happy, doing things that, that help you relax. Okay, and for some of you, um, you know, this is going to help with this energy here. So make sure that you're pampering yourself, Leo. Make sure that you're focusing on yourself. It's all about nurturing yourself this week, okay? So, Leo, I do hope that you found this reading helpful, and I wish you a wonderful week. Take care.